Okay, so here is my Lightroom file, or folder rather, on my hard drive. And Lightroom created this when I imported pictures, when I created my first new catalog. Lightroom made this folder and all the stuff that's in it, Lightroom put there automatically. So I want to spend just a couple of minutes talking about what we're seeing here. Again, it's just going to help you understand the why behind the how. Backups folder, we're going to talk about that in a second. So you can see here that it looks like I have multiple catalogs. That is letting you know how long I've been using Lightroom. <laughs> since version one. <laughs> so every time you upgrade the program, Lightroom creates a new catalog. I'm showing you this because at some point you're going to come, want to come in here and delete those older catalogs for hard drive space. Now a catalog does not take up near as much room as your pictures. We were talking earlier that I have about 15,000 photos in my catalog in my, or in my catalog and the catalog file is only about 150 megs. But that adds up. So just know that every time you upgrade, Lightroom is going to create a brand new catalog. So at some point, you can go back into this folder and delete those old catalogs so you're not using them. So that's why I left these hanging around here. Okay, so let's kind of just pay attention to the Lightroom 5 area here. So this file through that file. So what's the first thing we're seeing here in the list? Well, we've got a previews.lrdata file. The previews happen automatically when you import images into Lightroom. That's how Lightroom is translating the, the information that's in the raw file or the JPEG file or what have you to what you're seeing on the screen. These previews are uh, used in the library module okay, and in the develop module. Smart previews are new in Lightroom 5, and smart previews are just larger, regular previews. They're about, gosh, I used to know this number, 2,400 pixels. So regular previews are just small, small previews. Smart previews are much larger, and what smart previews allow you to do in Lightroom 5 is work on files that aren't on your computer. So let's say you store all of your pictures on an external drive, which is fabulous. And I do that at home. I just have a subset here with me today. So let's say you've got a RAID array or what have you. Your images are on an external file. Let's say you go somewhere, but that external drive is not plugged into your computer. If you let Lightroom generate these smart previews, which are larger previews, it lets you use the develop module even while those files are offline. So that's really, really handy. Yes. And so when you get back home or when you do plug in that external drive where the pictures actually live, remember the catalog has a photo record and that photo record is pointing to wherever the file lives. Once you plug that, that drive in and those files come back online, Lightroom goes, oh, I better sync everything up. That is sweet, sweet, sweet. That is really, really handy. I use that all the time because what will happen is when I travel to shoot, I'll have my external drives with me, but I'm not going to plug them in on the plane. So I'll start editing in the develop module just because I'm like, I got to see my pictures. <laughs> and so it allows me to edit. It's just a bigger preview. And then when I get home, I plug in that external drive, then everything syncs up. It's really, really great. But that is new in Lightroom 5. Okay, the next thing down we see, this is our actual catalog. This file right here, that is the database. And you can see it's not that big, 140 megs-ish. So <clears throat> if you need to put that catalog on another computer, you need to give it to somebody or whatever, this is where it's in this folder that that catalog lives. The next thing down, these next two files right here, those are temporary files. Those will only appear inside this folder when the program is open and running. Okay, so those, those will disappear as soon as we quit at a light when there's temporary files. And this is an old catalog. So that gives you an idea of what you're dealing with there in Lightroom. One little note about smart previews when you're using them in the develop module, so you know your files are offline, so you're dealing with a larger preview, is they are compressed to a certain extent. It's a, it's a lossy preview. That preview is not full quality of the actual image. So when you're doing things like sharpening and reducing noise, 
just kind of be careful with that on those offline files because you're not seeing it at 100% while they're offline. So you might go you might go too far or you might not do enough. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind.